guys, so today I have another makeup tutorial for you. Now I am getting super excited because I'm heading to Coachella this year, which means I'm getting out of Sydney winter and back over to summer. And uh, I've been getting quite excited about the different makeup looks that I could be doing for the festival. Now I'm not really the sort of person to go like with crazy festival makeup. So for me, I'm a little bit more drawn to those dewy, daytimey, super golden, super highlighted kind of looks. So this is what I've come up with. I've been playing around a little bit and if you're interested in finding out how I did this look, just carry on watching. Alright, let's get started. So with foundation, I'm going to do a mix between these two here. I'm going to put all the products in the description box below because I'm terrible at actually reading them out loud while I'm doing it. So I'll just do my whole routine and then list out what products I'm using for you guys. So this one here is the lighter of the two and I'm going to put a couple of drops towards the center of my face. It's almost like I'm going to be kind of contouring a little bit in advance because the outside of my face is going to be darker than the inside. So at the same time, I'm going to take the darker one here and just put a couple of drops more around the forehead and towards the outer part of my face. And I'm going to drip this one on my neck as well. Just blend that all out. Now to conceal those darker circles under my eyes, I'm going to jump in with this concealing palette and just grab a bit of the yellow, which I'm going to tap onto the darkest parts under my eyes there. I'm going to put a little bit on my lids as well. Then I'm going to jump back in with this contour and concealer palette here and grab that top color there Which I think is the closest to my skin color and the reason I like it is because it's actually not going to be too light under my eyes I do want it to be highlighted there, but not like crazy crazy because I'm going to bake it with a little bit of powder So I'm going to go over that yellow Just to bring it back to a more skin tone color now, as soon as I've blended it, I want to bake under the eyes just a little bit. So I'm going to do both under and on the lid so that that doesn't crease there. And basically, as soon as I've finished blending it out, before I even create any wrinkles or creases, I'm going to grab some of this powder here. This is the Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It <laughs> powder. And I'm going to grab it with a different beauty blender and just pat it on there. Now while that is baking away, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. Now I love using powders for brows and I'm going to be using this little set here. It's cool because you've got a kind of setting gel there and then two powders there. And I'm going to start with this uh, one that has a little bit less sort of red in it. I'm just going to dab a little bit of that setting gel just towards the inside of my brows and then with this little brush flick them up like that alrighty now I'm going to actually brush away that powder there and I'm going to take this foundation powder here and just pick up some of that onto a big bushy brush and just really gently flick that all away you can see there the really thick powder just really easily comes off and leaves that smooth, perfectly matte area underneath. Right, now I'm going to start actually contouring and bronzing up this look quite a bit. So I'm going to use this palette here, which as you can see is quite used because I absolutely love it. And right now my favorite color is this one in the corner. And I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up and kind of frame my face with it. So just towards the outside, under my hairline, and all the way down, carving up my cheekbones, I'm going to pop that dark powder there. I'm going to use the same powder just to sort of chisel my jawline a little bit. So just under there. Don't go too nuts with this, otherwise you kind of end up looking like you have a beard, <laughs> like a 5 p.m. shadow going on, but just a little bit there. And then I'm going to take the same one and just do a little bit on the tip of my nose, so that I look 
look like I've been walking around in the sun all day. And now, I'm moving on to the creme de la creme. This palette, which is so cool. Check this out, ready? Like this. <laughs> it kind of looks like a folder. <laughs> like you could just put this with all your uni books or something and pretend you're doing something really productive when in reality, you've just got all your makeup with you. <laughs> so this is called the NYX Beauty School Dropout. And this is just the coolest thing ever. So here you've got three styles of blushes, you've got a bunch of highlighter and a bit of contouring bronzer here and then amazing colours of eyeshadows and a handy handy mirror there. Um, what actually happened, because I got this online, this one came cracked. So it was like all in pieces, you can tell it probably doesn't look exactly the same perfectly smooth as those ones. but. Kane actually helped me with this. He like fully crushed it up and then got some um, uh, alcohol, like literally alcohol for wounds and stuff like that and mixed it all together and set it again. So we just like left it overnight and now look, it's like perfect. So I feel like that's another tutorial that we should do is actually show you guys how to fix broken powders because that's the first time I've ever had to do it. And it worked perfectly. But I'm not going to use that right now. So <laughs> let's carry on where I was. So I'm going to go and grab this color here and use it to uh, contour up my nose. So probably gonna grab a smaller brush for that one. This size. Now I'm gonna go in with this matte yellow here and just color up my lids in to give that a really nice light base. I'm gonna bring that down to open up my eyes right down to the inside corners. Now I'm going to go back to my really deep bronze contour here and just create a bit of a cut crease and just bring that bronze colour from the side of the nose and from the outside of my face through to connect with my eyes. And the same colour I'm going to use underneath my eyes just to fill in those fat pockets there. Right, next I'm going to pick up this blush here. It's super soft and peachy looking and I'm just gonna softly pop that on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so now starts the fun part. I'm going to make this very matte look look very illuminated and golden and summery and glowy. So I'm gonna pick up this little Beauty School Dropout palette here. This is called Nude and it's got these amazing shades here that are super golden and peachy. So I'm just gonna grab this top gold here and with my finger, just dab that onto the center of my eyelid. You can see how beautiful and shimmery that is there. Now I'm just gonna softly blend that out. I don't want there to be too defined a cut crease with this. I want this to be like a really soft, blended look. Next, with an angled brush, I'm just going to take this deep brown here and just do one quick line across my lash line there. Just to define my eyes a little bit. Now for lashes, I'm just going to do some of these little individual ones. I don't want it to be too crazy because I want this look to be kind of daytimey and summery. Success! <laughs> okay, while I let those dry, I'm going to put some white eyeliner onto my lash line. Where have I put it though? This is a really great thing to do for like a daytime look, something that you don't want to look too heavy because if you put white liner there, it just really opens up and freshens up your eyes. And now just finish that off with mascara. And now to make this entire look really dewy and golden, I am going to take this strobe of genius illuminating palette and I'm going to take this golden color here, which I feel like complements my skin tone the best, and just grab a bit of that. I'm gonna put a little bit down the center of my nose. Cupid's bow. <laughs> milk and moustache. <laughs> now I'm going to take a little bit of that as well and just pop it on my collarbones there. Now I'm going to cover my little milk moustache with a bit of lip liner. I'm going to lighten that with just a little bit of the nude concealer and keep that towards the center of my lips to create a bit of a gradient effect. Now I'm just going to take a little bit more of that highlighter there. And now to finish that and let that set really nicely, I'm just gonna get some of this dewy finish 
uh, basically like a setting spray that's super refreshing. This is a really handy thing to have in your handbag, especially if you go out into like hot weather and just spritz on whenever you're feeling a bit dry. This is gonna give you that really nice dewy, summery golden look. Now just zhuzh your hair. Woo. So that is the full look. Now I absolutely love doing a golden glowy look like this, especially on like warm balmy summer nights or if you're on holiday and you just wanna like enhance your tan. Um, and even for like events where you wanna have full glam but you don't want your makeup to feel or look too heavy. So I've avoided doing like a deep smoky eye or a power lip. So you just feel kind of like fresh and glowy rather than like full, full, full makeup. So I hope you enjoy it. There's lots of great events coming up, especially festivals and I know that Europe and America has summer coming up so maybe this gives you some summer glowy makeup inspo. Let me know if you guys try it and I will see you guys next time.